to see you again. So tell me about you your film. Um, the He's film my director. Okay. Am I looking in the camera? Yeah, you are. Okay. The film is called. Oh, look at that. The film is called Beyond Naked, and we follow four people that are writing first time naked in the Fremont Solstice Spring. Wow. We shot in 2011, and we followed Marty, Emily, Jeff, and Molly. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Nice. And um. Tell me a little bit about your participation in this festival itself. Well, we're delighted to have a chance to screen this in front of a Seattle audience because uh, there's probably been thousands of people who have been involved in riding naked in Seattle since including the whole thing happened. <laughs> yeah, including me. I, I actually, one of the reasons I'm making this film is because I rode naked uh, myself and it was kind of a transformative experience, I have to say. And uh, I, I got an opportunity to study with Werner Herzog very briefly at his Rogue Film School. And, um, and, and I decided I wanted to make a documentary film about something and and I said well I said to Werner I said how do you know when you found a topic that's worth making a film about and he just looked at me and he said if something fascinates you you must do it oh, so nice. so I so I, I literally flew home the next day and it was the naked bike ride and I and I thought that's it like I'm gonna make a film about the naked bike ride so uh, I met Lisa not long after that and we just uh, started shooting, and um, we just we had a, a plan to shoot for six months, starting on the winter solstice and concluding on the summer solstice, which is the naked bike ride. And that's what we did. We did production for six months, and then um, the post production took a little longer than we thought. Um, but uh, it's done. Uh, it's been done since December of this year, and um, we're thrilled that uh, we're going to be able to show it to a Seattle audience. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks for being on my show. Thanks. And how how do people get a hold of the movie. It, uh, BeyondNakedFilm.com. You can go to BeyondNaked.com, but that will lead you to a different place. Yeah. Yeah. That'll take you to a porn site. BeyondNakedFilm.com. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Photo is the place that my film will be shown. My film is Look at My Buffalo. Yes! Guys, this is uh, this is the strip round. You guys are gonna bring up the disc. This is get it. Your love, but your yeah. love is but my love, so yeah. we must love together. We must love film. Yeah.
understand why state and regional leaders are revisiting uh, that decision. Why do you think it's so important to have light rail on both I-90 and 520? You know, we, we know that um, we need a good regional transit system. Um, and we also know that in the future, um, it's likely that driving will become even less affordable. We also know that we're going to be tolling both those bridges. Um, well, at least we know 520 we're going to toll. So if you're going to toll that bridge and, you know, make it so that if you, um, in order to cross that bridge, you have to uh, be able to afford a car, afford the toll, afford the parking at the other end when you get there, it seems to me we should provide good, affordable transit options for those that, that don't have those dollars. And let me rephrase the question to you. And I, I think this is the question that we should ask other people. Why in this day and age would we build a 75 to 100 year bridge that was designed primarily for automobiles? Why would we do that? Um, why wouldn't we include transit and have a balanced approach, um, include light rail and have a balanced approach to our transportation needs? What, what are some of the other places where the city could uh, employ leverage on the project? Uh, the EIS process, or what? Are there other points that you've identified in, as it goes forward where you have some uh, direct ability, or the city has some direct ability to control which way it, it goes? Or does you know, it go? I, I think on big regional projects, nobody. Oh. Yeah, you just do whatever you want. Thank you. Okay, yeah. there we go. Say hello. Oh, wait, wait, we got more. How sweet. No, it's our. It's oh, I know it. That's really sweet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 